good morning. Night one. Well, I guess there's only one night. So the night was a success. Kona slept through the entire night. I think he was, uh, I think he was exhausted from his almost three and a half mile run yesterday. But he's just so tired. Oh my God, you're so cute. Let's get you tucked in. It's cold this morning, dude. Words cannot describe how happy I am with how this whole thing turned out. Our bed held up absolutely amazing. That little Amazon mattress that I got, I never once, like it, it doesn't feel like an air mattress. This is not sponsored. I wish it was sponsored. I paid for this thing. Lost Horizon. I found it on Amazon and it's like, it, it's foam on both the top and bottom and then air in between the foam. So like air mattresses you get that sort of like bouncy feeling and they'll they'll deflate and I was worried about Kona's paws like ripping it. I got this thing. It was like four times the price as a, as an air mattress. So I was kind of hesitant on it, but I'm really glad I did. I slept amazing. Kona slept really good too. And you guys were saying that this is not called a camper shell, bro. This, I camped in it. It's a camper shell. No, I, I I talked about that in another video. I guess it's a California thing. Us Californians call them camper shells. Other places call them truck toppers, canopies. I camped in it. It's a camper shell. This is the view we get to wake up to in the morning. Gabe slept in the tent. It's cold. It's 34 degrees this morning. You're gonna stay in here all cozy until it warms up a little bit, okay? Oh. Yeah, dude, getting a truck was the uh, the best decision I could have made. Right, you stay there, buddy. We're gonna go make some coffee. Like I said from the beginning, this has sort of been our our practice camping trip to see what we forgot, see what we'll need when we go for three nights in November. Uh, we need <laughs> we need something to boil water in. We're, we're using our egg pot, the pot we use for our ground turkey and egg and whatever else that was dinner to boil our water so that we can make egg flavored coffee. <laughs> we cleaned it to the best of our ability, but you try it. It tastes like eggs. It's not very good. <laughs> oh man. Hard. Stove was a, a 10 out of 10. I'm super happy with that. I got my influencer media bundle special over here, charging all my stuff. I got my my video edited in the in the truck last night, which was super cool. How did you sleep in the tent? Good. Yeah, it was fucking freezing, but my sleeping bag kept me warm. <laughs> His REI sleeping bag? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's brisk this morning. I was talking shit on Gabe's sleeping bag because he, he got like a super nice, like what, th like sub 30 sleeping bag. I think it's like up to 30 degrees. Okay. I was giving him shit. I was like, oh, bro's prepping for nuclear warfare. It's going to be like 65. I guess I checked the weather for like midday. <laughs> Overnight, it was for sure freezing and I was cold. All right, coffee. Oh, so I said from the beginning, this was a, a very quick escape. We're leaving today, like early afternoon. But there's a couple things we want to do beforehand. I got to try the egg coffee first. No, I don't taste any egg. We can rent kayaks here or canoes or there's some sort of boat. I want to go on a boat. Got a run today too, so probably going to take the dogs again because that was really cool yesterday evening. And then I think after I finish this coffee, I do have to drive into town and use my, my hotspot to get this or to get yesterday's YouTube video up. I sure wish we didn't use all of our firewood last night, bro. <laughs> it's cold this morning. Look at that camping view, though. I really like our campsite because obviously we have like neighbors all around, but we're like the farthest back this way. But we just have like nothing this behind us except for bears cheers and then uh into town we go for a little bit i feel crazy bringing this just contrap we have the the big generator the two little portable batteries and everything charging but it just looks insane down there it is cool because uh i i we didn't expect our campsite to not have service but as i said in uh in yesterday's video maybe just grab like trash like uh oh trash some, bags some grocery bag or some shit just like something to throw our trash Okay. We didn't expect for our campsite to have no service, but I, I, I've really liked being disconnected. It's also cool because it's like a, a seven minute drive into town where there's where there's service. So like in times like this where I do need to get work done, I still can. It's nice. I get like the escape of being unplugged while we're here at the campground, but I, I do still have real life to tend to. It's a super quick drive to town to, uh, to knock that out. And look at that view over there. I guess you can't see it. There's like that giant, I don't know what you'd call it, <laughs> rock mountain. We saw a bunch of like caves in it and I wonder if there's hiking trails up there. I gotta come back here when we have like a couple days to actually like explore and, and enjoy when it's not when everything's not so rushed. See there's the giant rock I was talking about. Can you see the caves in there? I don't know if there's hiking trails up there. That is so cool looking. Hell yeah nature! I'm using my phone as a, a personal Wi-Fi hotspot to get yet well today's video but for you guys at yesterday's video up. This reminds me of being a uh, being a teenager because dude back in back in the good old days I would this was like the norm for me like I would constantly be going on skate trips and adventures and I, I hadn't like limited myself 
subconsciously like I have now. I used to do these spontaneous road trips with the homies and I'd, I'd just upload videos from within my car and, and kind of sleep wherever on the side of the road. I used to do that all the time because I was, I was posting daily for, for two years at one point in my life, which is, I don't know what was wrong with me. I don't know what happened, but when I got older, it, it, that, that possibility just didn't seem possible anymore. But I guess it is. I can just do this. Not saying I'm going to start posting daily for two years again, but yeah, it feels, uh, it feels good. I hope you guys like the video. We do have 39 minutes to wait for this video to post before I can go anywhere. I guess I'll see you guys back at the campsite when it's done. My bed is now back to being a storage container. Campground is just about cleaned up for the most part. Gabe's tent is disassembled. The bear bin box thing is empty. Fire is completely out. Well, the fire was out last night, but trash is gone. Wow, this is about to be cold. The sun came out. Oh, I was gonna say it's a little bit warmer, but it's still cold. We're gonna knock out this run and see how much time we have for extracurricular activities. The boy is getting hydrated before the run. I just did the same. You're not supposed to drink too much though. That's how cramps happen, right, Gabe? I think it's most like lightly hydrate. Just like you did, Kona, good boy. I think we're just doing the same little loop we did yesterday. A little over three miles. Probably won't film as much today because I already showed you guys all the views yesterday. There's one view once we get down there a little bit further that's just insane that I do want to show you guys again. Got Kona with me? I think he likes running. I think he's like me for real, where like when he's running, he doesn't have time to be anxious about things because he's just focusing on running. Like father, like son. This should be a sick little uh, downhill skateboard path or something big old power slides around here or like those crazy carts like those electric drift carts would be so sick all the way through there this is the view that i was talking about that i had to pull over for got a waterfall down there and then just this beautiful canyon or mountain range or whatever it is and then don't even get me started on that view there all right i got about two miles to go we made it back 3.2 miles. I'm pretty, I think it was the exact same run as yesterday. You're just a running dog now, huh, buddy? We got 45 minutes, so we have to uh, check out, and I'm cooking up some thick old glizzards. Are sausages glizzies or just hot dogs? I don't know. I think just hot dogs. The sausage is more like a bratwurst. So we're cooking up some broadies. We're going to do some eggs and sausage, and for whatever reason, Gabe won't stop talking about really wanting to eat raw eggs. Warming them up right now. Why? I feel like cold would be worse than warm. Ew. I feel like we're out in the wilderness. We just have to eat raw eggs. <laughs> He's like really why. dead set on I, eating I, the I raw eggs. Try. I've never done it before. I've tried once at the old house, but it was eating the whole egg. <laughs> so I couldn't do it. <laughs> I, I forget how it came up, but the clip in there. <laughs> I got to see if I could find it. It was like to eat an egg, like like to take the, like the whole egg. There was and like, money on the line though. Which oh, is what, is that what it was? Yeah, it was like 20 bucks or something. The second he popped it and he threw up. There's two in here. You just gotta fucking swallow it, huh? Yeah, people do it all the time. Like bodybuilders will do like smoothies. You're already gonna <laughs> gag, bro. So you're making it, like no, people People do this I, casually. I know, all right, casually, yeah. It's yeah. just like, it's fucking orange juice. You like my orange juice, <laughs> extra pulp? <laughs> just think about it, orange juice, you're fine. It's just chill, it's just, you eat eggs normally, it's yep. chill. Mixing sparkling water with that's crazy. I but. almost threw it up so quick, hold on. All right, I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel like, like yeah, 12 good? grams of protein? What's up? <laughs> I'm gonna do another one. <laughs> uh, see, I'm gonna take my sausages over here. Breakfast of champions, two thick old sausages, a Caesar salad, and some pineapple. <laughs> I, I didn't drink the eggs, I couldn't do it. Locked and loaded, baby. The entire campsite is packed up, all trash, all everything is gone. Gabe's car is loaded up, my car is loaded up, Kona's in the back. And I think we're going, where are we going, June Lake? Yeah. Gabe's always wanted to go to June Lake and it's by here. I've never been either. I think it's just like a scenic lake. We're gonna see if there's somewhere we can take the dogs and just sort of chill. And then I gotta head home. And that is June Lake. I can see why people come here now. That sure is pretty. I'm stoked Kona gets to like adventure. I don't take him on adventures enough. Kona used to hate the water and he's slowly been getting used to it. Yeah, that's pretty nice. How deep will Kona go? I don't think Kona's ever swam. Laika loves the water, bro. Laika loves swimming. This is the deepest Kona's got. Do you like it, buddy? He's trying to figure out if he can swim or walk. <laughs> oh, what was that? I really wish I could let him off leash, bro. Oh, that's so cold. You lead the way, Kona. I'll follow you. How deep are we going? It's, a, it's like it's like you're documenting your child's first steps. Then there's Laika. <laughs> I really want him to swim. Do you want to swim? We can go deeper. Oh, <laughs> he's like how he's swim walking. Good boy. Kona's a follower, dude. He's in here because if Laika wasn't in here, he wouldn't go. 
<laughs> Good boy, was that fun? I'm sticking true to my word. You can't visit a body of water unless you dunk your head. It's cold. Well, it's, it's nice out, but it's it, the water's cold and it's windy. That doesn't even look real. Look at how crazy that looks, okay. We're going in. Three, oh, okay. Three, two, two and a half. <laughs> One, zero. Cold. Well, all good things come to an end, and now we go back to reality. Oh man, where do I even start, dude? That was such a sick trip. I know the people that like that actually camp like consistently throughout their lives. That was like a nothing. It was literally what, like a, like an 18 hour getaway. It felt good though. Like it, was, it felt really good to get Kona out. I'm hoping that with more exposure to stuff like this, he's able to break down his little mental walls and help with his anxiety. It's something we're still working on with training, obviously. But I'd love to be able to travel with him. And then it was sick hanging out with Gabe. Tomorrow was actually Gabe's birthday. So Gabe, if you're watching this, happy people. I just I just saw you. I just said happy early birthday. Go wish Gabe a happy birthday. I'm definitely exhausted. That's for sure. I made a list of stuff that I want to get. Because we're going camping for my birthday in November for three nights. So I made a list of stuff that we wish we had that we didn't. Just to make everything easier and more fun and more enjoyable. Not that it wasn't. I had a blast, actually. But yeah, we got uh, four hours until we're home. I'm sick of filming. I'm fried. I'll just see you guys back at the house. I made it. I'm so tired. Oh, I don't know why that's such a long... Well, I do know why that was such a long drive, because it was a far drive. <laughs> you can't see anything right now, but we're down by the shop because I want to I wanna unload the truck. But I found a use case for the ditch lights. Those are the regular headlights, right? Boom! Look at that. Now, I have lighting to talk to the camera. That's practical. Bro, these are so bright. I was going to say that these should be illegal, but I think they are illegal. At least I use them like the road. Anyway. Oh, yeah. See, look, if I stand on the... If I stand on the side of the truck this lighting is uh is perfect right there instead of driving straight home from june lake i took the longer way and then stopped by lake tahoe to visit my parents and just hang out with them for an hour from tahoe made it home and the truck did the entire trip in one tank of gas which is so sick in yesterday's video i was talking about how i was really hoping that i could do mammoth and back without having to fill up because it has a big ass 38 gallon tank it sucks to fill up and it gets terrible gas mileage but but the range and like coming from a coming from a Tesla or an EV range anxiety is, is a real thing and that's part of the reason I wanted just like a jumbo massive gas tank so I can just go I'd gotten used to doing like 200 miles before before having a charge so to be able to do just you know it's 600 on it like three times what I could do so sick I filled up here and it wasn't cheap which isn't great but pick and choose your battles man she held up. I th this I'm gonna talk about it more tomorrow actually once it's actually bright out I could not be happier with my with my decision to get rid of the Tesla and, and get a truck. Not because I'm jumping on like, oh, the Tesla the hate bandwagon. No, I still back Tesla. I think they're great EVs. That trip, that 18-hour that trip was just so sick. I do want to get everything unpacked from here and just load it up into the shop. Oh, let there be light. I sure wish this opened. I gotta get that fixed. Little camping stove came in so clutch. Air mattress thing, even more clutch. Top five best Amazon purchases right here. Camping chairs, clutch. These actually aren't even mine. These are my parents. These were placeholders in the yard here, actually, before we had any furniture. First time taking them camping, though. Uh, I think that's it for camping stuff. Everything else is like clothes, laundry, all that stuff. Oh, you know what we will need, though? is our skateboard. Oh yeah. Oh, I also, <laughs> I'm definitely gonna need socks. Being able to, to come home from this sick little adventure we just had to this still like is unfathomably cool to me. It's sort of like if you, uh, if you asked, I don't know, 14 year old me to describe my dream life, this would be it. And that sounds stupid corny, but like, sorry, it's true. I mean, come on, just took a, took our sick ass truck camping with a good homie of mine and my dog had a great time filmed skated and then come home to this like it, it it's I don't have words. Thank you. Those are the words I have. Can you see the uh, the green numbers on my watch, though? They say 769. Every day for 75 days, thanks to 75 hard, I have to burn 1,000 calories. And that green number, the 769, is the calories I've burned so far. Active calories, not just resting calories, because those are different. We have to burn a little under 300 calories still. I'm not gonna lie, I completely, 100% forgot that we made this before leaving. I have a fear that because 
because this is a uh, smoother concrete than the asphalt out there because we don't have any like rubber or foam or anything on the bottom of these feet I'm worried about the slip factor worrying never got anyone anywhere though huh? oh we're good I feel like I chalked this rail up to be so much worse than it actually is. I got so caught up on like the imperfections because I made it. I just see all the stuff that kind of bums me out, like the separation there, the warping there, and for some reason I just think it's gonna skate shitty. It low-key skates good. I think I'm just like too hard on my craftsmanship. I've already gotten 10 times more tricks on version two of the rail than version one. Version one was, was borderline unskatable. This one's exceeding expectations skatability wise. Visually, it still kind of bugs me. Flip in. Just easy. I mean, like big spin front board and kickflip front board is all I have. I feel like those tricks are going to put a lot of sideways pressure, which is going to test the slideability of it. Let's start with kickflip front board. Let me just front board it once. To, I know it will work just to feel it. Just like a little like that. See, I feel like even that moved a little bit though. Uh, like that wobble, that's gonna bug me. Version three, version three, we're gonna fix all this. That was terrible. I, I just gotta do it, I'm overcomplicating it. All right, first try. Okay. <laughs> first actual try. First, second try. That's kinda more along the lines of what I was talking about. That was a terrible kickflip front board to begin with. We did get the, the slide. It's just training. It's making sure I do everything more precisely and land on top of the rail. I actually designed it that way to get better at skateboarding. Duh. Oh my God. See, we landed it, but because the rail moved, it's, it's showing us that our balance wasn't right. It's a feature. Let's put that back over there. All jokes aside, that felt better. That didn't. Ah! I'm running out of excuses. It's cool that I'm landing them because I suck at this trick. The fact that I'm even rolling away is a start, but I really do want to start feeling like confident on them. Like that. Took a while, but that's the one that I want. What else did I say? Oh, big spin front board, first tee. First tee, baby. Yup, big spin board fakie. Yep. I didn't break the tripod. Also, your comments do not go unseen. I've been getting a ton of comments telling me to just put the little uh, magnetic mounts that I use on this tripod. Just slap them around like throughout the shop. You know, stick one here so we have an angle facing the uh, the rail. Slap one here so we have the, the quarter pipe wall ride. Fantastic idea. I'm just a lazy procrastinator. Let's get kinky. I want to actually turn it around though. Now let's get kinky. As fun as it is, that was the only three tricks I have. I think I did board slide and board slide fakey when we first made it. Oh, and crook. Crook was sick. We can try like Smith. Pull it back a little bit to have a little bit more runway. Back in my prime, back in my day, I used to love myself a good kink trail. But you probably saw the only trick I could do was 50-50s. Anything else and it's, it's, it's hit or miss. That is, dude, this rail is so sick. I'm a little biased, but it's fun. I like this angle because it really shows the, the launch at the end. Okay, now I'm out of tricks. Over crook or nose grind? Are we really starting this debate? No, we're not. It's too late for all that. I don't want to do the whole thing, just the, uh, just the tip. Okay, that one's scary. It's just weird coming in fast to like an up rail. Let me just do front lift first to feel it out. Oh! God! That was not reassuring. We're getting a whole lot of lift up when I do tricks like that for some reason. Well, not for some reason, fucking physics, but you know what I mean. What about a straight on angle? That is moving a lot. I'm just gonna go for it. All right. I'm going straight into that. It honestly might be easier if I do grind more of it, but I'm a weenie. Oh, okay, next try. 
Yeah, how's it? Now, <laughs> I'm out of tricks. We'll store this thing over there for now. I do still think, now that I, I do have a newfound love for that rail, I still think I am gonna go through and, and drop it off at a local skate park or a street spot or something. It can be like the, the skate rail Santa Claus and just start dropping all my all my rails off places. I say that as a joke, but like I'm actually kind of down for that. 942 calories. We got 60 more calories to go. I am so excited to sleep. Maybe we do a uh, straight eight. That was something that I've been, I mean, I'm, I've been working on straight eights for years now. Kick flip every stance, heel flip every stance. It's supposed to all be in a row. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I would just like to do all eight tricks before I reach my calorie goal. Damn, dude, I have to shave and, and shower and like feel like a human again? I'm gonna cut out all the bullshit. I'm just gonna do all eight tricks right here. Starting now. Wow, that was all first try and all back to back to back with no mistakes in between. Yeah. 1,003, I am done for the day. No, I'm like, I'm done for the day. I'm gonna shower, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. I feel so much better now that I like, not that the, the truck mattress thing was bad at all, it was actually really nice, but just after sleeping in my own bed with both of my dogs, my girlfriend taking a shower, it felt good. I feel, <laughs> I feel refreshed. I went through and cleaned out the truck. I'm gonna leave this little back seat set up for Kona. That little adventure made me realize how much I want to adventure with him. And like part of it is a little selfish, whereas like I want a travel companion. The other part of it is like I want his his quality of life to increase. Like he just has so much anxiety that he can't enjoy life. Just, that's just like a lot of people. I wanna work on his car anxiety. So like, you know, feeding him in here, just hanging out with him in the in the back seat here, not actually driving. This trip made me realize that, that I really do wanna work with him. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this set up and this is, this is his part of the truck now. And Milo's, but Milo's, Milo loves cars, so he's fine. The one kind of bummer is this thing also not sponsored by another Amazon purchase. It's just this like sort of protector for the whole back of the truck. It mounts by going, you like slip these little things in your your, in your windows and it specifically said it's like okay if you have a tint on your back windows and dust gets in there it has the possibility of scratching it uh, <laughs> we got some scratches there it's just it's the tint though I mean again the truck is a tool so I'm not gonna worry about it if I ever actually care I can get it retinted went through and cleared out the back got everything out and I mean dude this I, I like I, I can't put into words how good everything like worked how good I feel about everything. I did get this. I'm just standing on it so you can't see my address, but it's a uh, truck bed liner. I was looking into like those roof mount tents and stuff like that, but A, they're insanely expensive. B, I don't even camp that much yet. And C, when I do camp, I really want to bring the dogs and the dogs can't climb a ladder and get up there. Plus, I don't want to make my gas mileage even worse. I really like everything about uh, camping back here. The only thing is that I got the truck for utility purposes too. I'm gonna be loading shit in here. It's gonna get all messy and dirty and grimy So I wanted to get that bed liner for just like truck use if I'm loading a bunch of gravel in there Whatever I'm gonna load into the truck I'll have that liner in there all the time and then when I want to take it camping I'll pull the uh, pull the liner out I'm gonna go through and clean this too But that way this always stays, you know relatively clean and I mean there's blankets and mattresses or a mattress that goes on it Anyway when I'm camping you already know we're sitting on the on our yapping spot 10 out of 10 I want to be a I want to be a overland camp Camper, YouTuber, now that's all I want to do. Just do a, a across the United States skate and camping trip. Now that was that was really sick. Probably titling this like, oh, selling the Tesla, buying a truck was the was the best decision I could have made. I touched on it last night too, where it's like I, I I'm not hopping on the Tesla hate bandwagon by any means. All politics aside, whatever your political viewpoints on Elon are, like all that bullshit aside, like Teslas themselves, I think they're great EVs. I just like for where I'm at now in my life, I don't want an EV. It, it, it's honestly not even just the EV because I was looking at. Rivians, they're just stupid expensive. I'm just, I, I just want, like, I want a truck. <laughs> for at least for where I am in my life now, I wanted a full-size truck. In terms of, like, moving up here, everyone always asks, like, dude, are, did, does it feel good to get out of LA? And, like, my, my biggest regret is that I didn't move out of LA sooner. I don't feel that way about the truck at all. It's not like, oh my god, I, I can't believe I didn't sell the Tesla and get a truck earlier. Driving this thing around LA would have sucked. It's a big-ass truck. I just think, timing-wise, like, it, it makes so much, so much more sense with where I'm at now. I really, I want to go camping again now. Like, I, I don't, I don't want to be here anymore. 
No, that's not true. I love it here, but I, I do want to, like, that was such a fun trip. I know it was only two videos. It was this video and yesterday's video. It was a very t quick camping trip. Therefore, there wasn't too much camping content, but I did have fun documenting it, and based on the comments in the last video, you guys seemed to enjoy it. So, I want to thank you guys for watching as usual, and uh, I'm a truck owner now. I'm going to start going on more adventures. Thank you guys for watching. I will catch you next video, and peace out.